In order to go into the pass fail setting screen, press the F3 button more twice. One, two. Then arrow down to the pass fail screen selection. Then press the enter button. By default at the factory, the pass fail is turned off. In order to turn it on, you press the F1 button on. Now there are two possible settings for pass and fail. We can select by determining an upper and lower range, or we can select a nominal value with a percentage band, plus or minus high and low. So right now we are going to start with selecting a range. Let's determine a range for the pass and fail functionality. So in range, I'll press the enter button. Now let's set a range, uh, for example, from 10 newtons to 20 newtons. So we will go ahead and change the increment here by using the arrow key and then the down arrow key to reduce the high. Then let's change the increment by tens and then we'll bring it down by tens. Now you'll notice that we cannot go any lower with the high because the low is already at 111.21 newtons. So it's always better to start with the low. So press the F1 button to change to low. And now you can go down to a lower value. So we said we are going to set the lower limit at 10 newtons. So here we're at 11.21. If we want to change the increment, once again, we press the right or left arrow button to reduce the increment. So let's, now let's reduce a 0.1 newtons. And now let's reduce 0.01. So now we have 10 newtons. And at this point, we're going to select the high. And we're going to bring the high at 20 newtons. So let's press the arrow key down to get the zero in the first column here, then press the range, and let's bring the second di digit down an increment. Then let's bring the 11 down, and then let's bring the 10 down, and then let's bring it down more until we get down to 20. So now we have a range of 10 newtons and 20 newtons. So if we go back to the home screen, by pressing twice the uh, home screen, now we have our, our normal value, we're in normal setting, and if we're between 10, and you'll notice that in this, in the normal mode, we don't register a pass or fail condition. So what needs to be done is we need to press the mode button, and we need to set the tension peak. Now, in order to reset this, you press the zero button. If we're failing, it's because we're below the range of 10 to 20 newtons. So if I pull on here, and we're between 10 and 20 newtons, we will get a pass. Then we release, and this is within range. Of course, if you zero, you will fail because you're below 10 newtons. If we go above 20 newtons, we'll fail again. Now, if you decide you want to know exactly all the real values you are measuring, you can always go back to more, press the F3 button multiple times, until we have display peaks. And if you select display peaks, press enter, and then press F1 to turn the peaks on. We go back home. You will see now that you always have the normal value being displayed. So this is very helpful if you want to always know at what load you're at. So now I can zero again. And you could see that my peak is here. My zero has gone down and we're above 10 newtons. So this is how you use the range on a pass fail uh, setting using the gauge. Now we're going to change the
pass fail mode from a range to a bandwidth. So you press the more button twice, F3 button, go down to pass fail, enter. Now we're going to go from a range to the nominal value and establish a load band. So we would press the down, the down arrow, nominal load, press the enter button. And now let's say, for example, uh, we want a nominal value of 10 newtons. So let me go ahead and change the nominal value from 15 to 10. Use increments of 1 and use the down arrow to bring down the nominal force value to 10 newtons. So this means that if we have a nominal value of 10 newtons, uh, and let's go ahead and change the band. Let, let's say the band you press the F1 button to change the band, F1, and let's say 10% of 10 newtons. So let's go ahead and, and bring it down to 10% to give us round numbers to understand the process, how this works. Okay, so basically we have a nominal value of 10 newtons a band of plus or minus 10% of 10 newtons. So this puts us at 9 newtons or 11 newtons. Now let's go back to the home button, the home screen. Press the home button twice, brings us back to the home screen. Let's zero everything and now we can watch our nominal value here and the peak. So basically in order to be within range, we have to be between 9 newtons and 11 newtons. So as we go up, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, we're past and we're good. If we continue on to 11, we fail. And there you have it.